Everybody's got a story to tell Everybody's got a wound to be healed I want to believe there's beauty here So I get so tired of holding on Can't let go, I can't move on. I want to believe there's meaning here. How many times have you heard me cry out, God, please take this? How many times have you given me strength to? Just keep breathing, oh, I need you, God, I need you now. Standing on a road I didn't plan, wondering how I got to trying to hear that still small voice I'm trying to hear above the noise how many times have you heard me cry out God please take this how many times have you given me strength to just keep breathing oh i need you god i need you now no i walk no i walk through the shadows and i i'm so afraid Please stay, please stay right beside me With every single step I take How many times have you heard me cry out? How many times have you given me strength? How many times have you heard me cry out, God, please take this? How many times have you given me strength to just keep breathing? Oh, I need you, God, I need you now. I need you now. Good evening. Welcome to our first Wednesday night Lenten service together. Uh, we are going to be doing Holden Evening Prayer uh, for our Lenten Wednesdays, a time for us to be able to worship God through majority of music uh, that we sing, that some soloists sing. Um, how many of you have done Holden before? Okay. For those of you that haven't, 
Everyone should have received a booklet, um, get offered a booklet on their way in, um, and we will kind of guide you through. Um, but we will sing this every week. So if you've never sung it before, by the fifth week, you'll be a pro at it. You will be. So uh, this is always some, This is always a service that warms my heart, um, and just an incredible way I think to uh, worship during the season of Lent. And so I'm grateful that we get to do it. In your bo in your booklet, you should have found your your first evening insert. Um, each week, you're going to get an insert that will have our reading on it, um, that will have the explanation of our contemplative practice on it, which I'll get to in just a minute, and then also some reflection questions um, that you can turn and talk to a neighbor about, or um, our confirmation Lenten mentors can have these conversation questions with their confirmation student following the service. So... <clears throat> Just to give you a little um, intro into kind of what we're doing on these Wednesday nights, we have had um, the privilege of having uh, Joanne Campbell Rice. Um, she's a spiritual director, and we are part of a two year initiative to learn about the contemplative practices. Um, and there's a small group of us that meets monthly with Joanne to learn about different contemplative practices and to practice them. And um, part of the initiative is also then to introduce um, some of these contemplative practices to the congregation as a whole. And we thought, what a great way um, to do this in the season of Lent. So instead of hearing a little sermon, we're going to be participating in a little contemplative practice every week. Um, it has nothing to do with standing up and sharing anything. It has to do with quiet, sacred time with God. So there's no judgment of how you do this um, or um, what happens inside your brain in the five or six minutes that we carve out for this. Um, it is a time for you to sit still and be quiet, um, to listen, to contemplate, to um, reflect on how you are connecting with God. And each week, we're going to have a little bit of a guided meditation contemplative practice. Um, so you won't just be always just sitting there. There will be a little guidance um, each week. Um, and it may feel uncomfortable because there's not going to be a lot of noise when it comes to this. And our standard living comes with a lot of noise in our day. A lot of noise. And we can be uncomfortable sometimes with the quiet. Um, but I want you to kind of lean into it with me um, and know that I think by the end of our five weeks together, you're going to really come to learn and appreciate what quiet space and time and moments to kind of listen um, and practice time with the divine can do to your heart and um, can do to your mind and your body. Um, those that have done the contemplative practices so far, um, have we've kind of shared reflections every time about how the practices have helped us, or and I think we've all benefited from, from that time together. Um, so just know that it may be awkward the first couple weeks, um, but I ask that you just kind of stick with it um, and lean into it with me in these guided reflection times. Um, and you'll have to let each other know what you think of them each time. So, um, Ginny, if you want to come up here real quick, Ginny wants to give a quick plug before we begin our service about something that's going on this weekend. So I'm going to hand the microphone over to her. Okay, I always need a mic. This is what I want to show you. The Lions and Lexington Fire this weekend are working for our food shelf and the power pack program at school. When we started this program with the Lexington Lions, it's at festival. We'll be collecting food and donations. When we started that with them, we had 20 people, 20 kids that were getting packs at Centennial School. Right now, they're passing out 280 of them. So they are in need of help. 
And we choose March to do this because they have people that match funds for us. So it will help our food shelf and our power pack. The Lions say thank you. And thanks, St. Mark's, for everything you do for us. Thank you, Ginny, for keeping us in aware of the stuff that we have going on in our community so we can help. Um, I am going to invite you to stand, and we are going to... going to begin our service. So you have the booklet to follow along. It should be very clear about when there's a leader and when you should chime in. If you are ever wondering, you can watch for me and I'll kind of let you know when it's your time to be cued in. Um, and we will just kind of slowly kind of make our way through the service tonight and we'll give you instructions um, before each part. Um, so those of you who already know how to do this, just be patient with those that um, maybe have never. We always want to be mindful of new people, um, any worship service that we do. So I am going to invite us to begin with our service of light. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The, the light no darkness, darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people there. next part um, we sing the first few lines together and then we break into two groups so I am going to be leading this side in leader or group one and Kelly is gonna lead this side in group two so you can see group one kind of starts and then group two kind of follows 
and it's kind of a beautiful song and dance between um, the two groups that lead. So, but we all start together in the first few lines. So let's sing. <laughs> come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Please be seated. I am going to read our scripture passage for tonight, and when I am finished, I will say the light shines in the darkness, and I ask that you respond with, and the darkness has not overcome it. Our reading tonight comes from the Gospel of Luke, the fourth chapter, verses 1 and 2. Now Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wild. For forty wilderness days and nights he was tested by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when the time was up, he was hungry. The light shines in the darkness. So, everyone should have received or chosen a paint color out on the table. What I'm going to have you do in just a minute is we're going to sit quietly and we're going to look at our paint color that we have chosen. Now, if you follow the directions, you were supposed to choose a color that reflected your feeling right now, your feelings of today. And that may be a lot of, you may have a lot of feelings, but whatever kind of feeling you were drawn to in order to choose your color, that color is gonna reflect that feeling. Now our text for tonight, you're gonna notice, is always a shorter version of the text that we heard the Sunday prior. So this last Sunday, we talked about the uh, Jesus being tempted in the wilderness. And we talked about the many ways in which the devil tempted Jesus um, and the way that Jesus responded to them. And we talked about how we too are te tem tested in our life. Um, sometimes every day, sometimes some tests are bigger than others, some are smaller, but we're tested all the time. Now, we also have many feelings throughout our days and our weeks and our months and sometimes by the hour. Um, our feelings ebb and flow, if you will. And based on decisions that we make in our day, our feelings may change as well. And so, as easy as it is to be tested, 
It is easy as it is to change feelings, as easy as it is to change direction based on decisions that we make. We don't stay one way all the time. And God didn't want us to stay this way all the time. The way I see it, we don't know what it feels like to be high up on a mountain peak without knowing what it feels like to be low in the valley and anywhere in between. And so for us to be able to tap into what we're feeling right now and where God is in this feeling that we're having right now can help open up our hearts and our minds to connect with the divine in this moment. And so we can use words like we probably tend to do throughout our day to describe our days, describe our feelings. But to pick a color is just a new and different way of tapping into that. And so I'm going to set a timer on my phone because part of contemplative practices, which I have learned, is that they are timed. And it's supposed to be, then it's timed in order for us to be very intentional about that time. And so we can fully show up and be present and not have to worry about how long we're doing it for and making sure we're not falling asleep or that you know that we're not going to come out of it. And so um, I'm going to set a timer. And we're going to start um, for just two minutes. That's all I'm going to ask for is two minutes for us to sit quietly. And I just want you to focus on the color of your paint chip that you have. And things I want you to think about right now are what brought you to choose this color? What elements of your day brought you to choose this color? Why are you feeling this color? Maybe it was a person. Maybe it was many people. Maybe it was one event. Maybe it was multiple events um, that brought you to this color. Maybe you don't really know why, and maybe it'll come to you in these two minutes of quiet. But it's it, quiet can seem like it goes on forever. So again, I just, I want you to find a spot for you in your chair to be comfortable. Try to put both feet on the floor, okay? We're gonna start by fully being present in our bodies. And then once I kind of walk us through that, then we will sit with our two minutes of quiet. So at first I just want you to close your eyes so we can become present in our bodies. Right now I just want you to put both feet on the floor, kind of sit more upright, but let the back of your chair kind of hold you up. And I just want you to take a deep breath in, and as you blow it out, let it go through all the way to the floor so you can feel your feet on the floor. Feel the weight of your feet on the floor. Then I want you to think about your legs let them relax into the position in which you are sitting. Let it know that it is supporting your body. And I want you to go to your chest. You can feel your breath moving in and out of your chest. Then I want you to think of the back of your neck, what it feels like to be holding your head up, but sitting nice and still in your chair. And then I want you to feel the crown of your head. To feel that the weight isn't resting all on top of you, but is evenly distributed throughout your body. Now when you're ready, I want you to open your eyes and just to fixate your eyes on your color. And quietly think about that color and what brought you to this color and maybe where God is in this color and in this feeling that you may be having.
just take a moment to wrap up a final thought you may be having. Whether we know it or not, God provides many ways in which to reach out and communicate and to connect with God. And it can be in the most quiet of moments, but it can also be in the busiest part of our day. And so I can only hope that in this season of Lent, you can find four or five minutes in your day to just sit and to be quiet and to listen into the many voices and ways in which God is speaking to us, but also to take the time to be able to have conversation with God as well. Our book that we're reading as a congregation, The Practice of Prayer, talks a little bit about how it does take practice and that God is multilingual in the way that God speaks to us. And it may not always be in a voice that we recognize. And so for us to take a few quiet moments and reflect in a way that we haven't with a paint chip color that reflects on our day, I want you to take that paint chip with you and recognize when you feel this way again or if it's a regular feeling if it's not a regular feeling, and let it be a reminder, a physical reminder, of the moment that you just spent with God, with the divine, um, focusing in a way that maybe you haven't before. In the next, in the few weeks to come, we're going to be doing a different type of exercise every week, and our members of our contemplative prayer group are going to be leading us in those. Um, so I look forward to many more quiet moments with you on these Wednesday evenings in our time together. Amen. said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said,
going to invite you to stand for this next part, our litany and our prayers. And the way this is going to go is we're first going to play what we need you to sing. Then we're going to hum what we need to sing. And then we're going to say the words that we need to sing. So you'll listen to it. Then we'll hum it. Then we'll sing that response. And then each of us up here will take turns singing each of the petitions. And in between each petition, we need you to sing, God of mercy, hold us in love. And it kind of goes back and forth all the way through. All right? So let's first listen, then hum, then sing. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and praise to you. Everybody sing with me. May God create our blessings and keep us. May Christ be ever Just a few brief announcements before we close our service for tonight. First, if you wouldn't mind um, putting your booklets on the paint chip table as you leave so we can reuse them week to week. Second, please feel free to take your paint chip home with you so it can be a reminder of the way that you connected with God through color tonight. 
choir is going to be meeting in here right after the service is over. So if mentors or Lenten mentors and their confirmands want to meet anywhere else in the church, um, we invite you to have your reflection questions and conversations, just not in here. Um, thank you for those who have joined us online tonight. Please uh, feel free to join in every Wednesday night at 630. Um, if you would like a paint chip and you watched at home, we can definitely make sure to have them available here if you want to stop by church and pick one up. <laughs> All right. As you leave, may you share the peace with someone you know and someone you may not know as well. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.